Hey, what's up, guys? I have a cool unboxing here. This is actually, in fact, actually, it was last year in August, wasn't it? Yeah. I haven't bought anything from Kino, which is what this is from, uh, Kino Lorber, um, for the last, like, 11, 12 months. Um, because I guess they do a yearly sale, and I guess I hadn't even put that together until just a second. That's funny. Um, but anyway, I have a package here from Kino. Um, I had not... I didn't know it was happening. I completely forgot about it from last year. And I just happened to see on Blue.com that someone mentioned that they had a sale going on. And I clicked on it out of curiosity. I had not um, planned on getting anything. And I actually found a couple things I, I was interested in. And uh, I, I made a purchase, I guess. Um, like I said, it's kind of a spur of the moment thing. I did not plan on it. In fact, hold on. There was a pull tab on here. Let me see. I thought there was a... Yeah, there's one right here. Let's see if this actually works. It's got one of these pull tabs here. I doubt it's going to work. Yeah, alright. It's another eye. Let's just do this. Get some there. Yeah, there I saw this is taking so freaking long. Hold on. If I had an editing, I would probably edit this out, but I don't care. Everything is raw, not edited footage. There we go. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here's my packing slip. Let's take a look. See, I think it's five titles. Two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. The most expensive thing on here was something that was released today, and that was the that was the main reason why I actually did the whole thing. I got the other titles to even out the um, fifty dollars free shipping because I had four titles in there until I did that, and it was eleven dollars shipping. And so I thought, well, I can find something for ten dollars, and I did that, and so. That was what I did. So let's pull them out. Well, should I just pull them out all at once? One, two, three, four. Five. Let's just do them all at once. And there they are. And I did I, up until this point, I did not realize that this one came with a slipcover. So let's take a look at that. Put everything in there. I'm a little annoyed they didn't do a um a box. I think every time I bought from them, I got a box. So this time I did not. But uh, let's do this. This is the main event right here, actually. The Deep Rising. I did not know this came with a slipcover. So that's that's pretty cool, but I you know don't care so much about that. Yeah, I love that artwork though. That is so cool. Um, but and it has an actual like uh, font on there as opposed to the usual Kino Lorber font. But that's cool. The slip cover is a little. I don't know if you can tell here, it's a little dinged up. Yeah. I wasn't expecting one though, so I'm not so much bothered by it. There's actually a lot of special features. It's got an audio commentary by director and editor. Got the interviews with the actors. Interview with second unit director Dean Cundy, who is um who is he? He's very famous. I like him. Uh, visual effects John Burton, visual effects Van Ling, band from the Ranch Entertainment, huh? Interview, interview, interview. I land behind the scenes. Newly commissioned art, which is this right here. This is awesome artwork. I like this. Treat Williams and Fabio Jensen. Deep Rising. Look at that fucking thing. I used to love this stupid fucking movie from 1998. Yeah. And then a trailer in Five Home One. Okay. It's got Treat Williams, Fabio Jensen, Anthony Hield, Kevin J. O'Connor, Wes Studi, Derek O'Connor, Jason Fleming, and Jiman Honsu. Really? I don't remember him. Written and directed by Stephen Summers. Very cool. How long is this actually? I'm curious. It is 106 minutes for sci-fi, violence, and gore rated R. And there's a description if you want to read that. It's a monster movie on a boat, on a cruise, uh, cruise liner or whatever. So that's cool. Let me just open this up real quick. I assume there's nothing in here. 
Besides maybe a, um, what do you call it, a, a list of their little catalog. Be long enough. Yeah, I don't think I've done a, a, a big unboxing of Kino stuff since last year. I bought, I had like three orders. What crazy. Yeah. There's the typical Kino disc, and there's actually, that's the original artwork. Rising, full stream ahead. Now that's <laughs> that's some goofy artwork. I don't recall this this poster. I'm assuming this is the original theatrical poster. I like it. I'll take it. Neato. Okay, and I got some other ones here too. But like that was my main event. Like I said, that was the one I really wanted. So let's open these up. This is um, a fistful of dollars. Last time, wait, did I buy them that during that sale? I forget. I bought, I bought um, the good, the bad, and the ugly last year. I don't know if it was during one of the sales, but I did buy it last year. And I actually watched it for the first time in my life. Just like I haven't seen this film either. Well, that's probably not true. I've seen a lot of Clint Eastwood films. Um, my dad watched a lot of those, and I watched. I remember reading, uh, watching. Um, what's that called? Uh, the Outlaw Julia Wales. I remember liking that film. He's got a lot of them. Um, those uh, uh, 60s, 70s westerns, um, but I don't, rec I don't recall anything about this one, and uh, I'm, I wanted to get it, and it was $9.99, I think. Did this just come out? It was $11.99, so it wasn't terribly on sale, but it was good enough. Um, this just came out this last year, and as far as I know, this has an okay transfer. I remember there was a huge debacle about Good, the bad, and the ugly about the uh, sepia tone versus the blue tone. Or... I'm not as huge on visuals like that, and I enjoyed the film. And there's the disc, like usual. And there's the artwork. I kind of like that. I like that more. Oh, there's still some down there. Man. And then the studio classics. Just the catalog, which is kind of cool, actually. I don't know if there's any new stuff in here. I haven't looked since last year. Like 2000? No. See, I'm glad to get this. Like I said, I was I was hoping to get this at some point. When it came out, it was just it was 20 bucks. I was going to wait. I knew that there'd be a sale, or at least I could get it on Amazon or something. Um, I like this case is different than the other one. Like... Typical cases look like that, and it's just a different kind of case. This, I think, is a cheaper case. I'm not really sure. It's fine. It's not eco, so that's something, at least. So there's that one. That's a Sergio Leone film. I think this is actually... Hold on, I actually take a look at the special features. Sorry. Brand new fork restoration. The film has started at all. The genre of spaghetti western was born. A male with no name was introduced, and the iconic talents of star Clint Eastwood... Excuse me, shit. Uh, Sergio Leone and composer um, Andy Morricone were launched. An instant international phenomenon, this hard hitting epic stunt audience with its violence. Gritty realism and tongue in cheek humor. A lean, cold eyed, cobra quick gunfighter arrives in a grim and dusty border town where two rival bands of smugglers terrorize the impoverished citizens. Though he receives lucrative offers of employment from each gang, his loyal his loyalty cannot be bought. He accepts both jobs and set in motion a deadly plan for to destroy the criminals, pitting one against the other in a series of brilliantly orchestrated setups, showdowns, and deadly combinations. Co-starring Marianne Cope and Jean-Marie Volonté. And it's got commentary by film historian Tim Lucas, commentary by film historian Sir Christopher Praling, interview the actress, Trevor from Hell, visual dollars with outtakes, the film in pictures, animated image gallery, Promoting, damn, on set, restore, putting EUA logo, Christopher Freeling archives, festival of dollars, a new kind of hero, did you add a few weeks in Spain, please put on the experience of making the film, damn, Mary Dean Stanton, 
Damn, I can't even. This is I can't even list them all. There's so many. That's awesome. This is more than. There was there were a lot I think on. Um, Good, bad, yellow. But I had two discs too on different cuts. So, oh well, that was so much. But uh, I look forward to watching this. Like I said, I haven't seen it if I've seen it at all in, since I was a kid. So, um, the next one is Night Kill. This is definitely a blind buy. I I've I remember seeing this poster before. I've seen this image before. And this, uh, and it was Night Kill and the blood dripping down. And um, when I saw it on, this, on the website, I thought, oh, I want to get that. And it was nine, ninety nine, I think. Yep. So a good price. I should have mentioned this just came out today, I think. Uh, the today is the is Tuesday the twenty first. Uh, whenever you're watching this, um, and this was on sale. I guess technically it was seventeen ninety seven. So I paid full price for this basically, and that was what basically put me over to the fifty dollar range. I was okay with that though because, like I said, I kind of wanted it, and um, I don't know. Probably shouldn't have. I was. I'm sure it'll be ten dollars within the next couple months, but I think it wasn't. Whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't have anything else to say about that. But I wanted it, and I I love this artwork. And I didn't care. I didn't I didn't even know what color the cover. And I've said that already though. So, um, well, let's let me open it first. Shit, I'm, I'm just bumping shit. Hold on. Move this over. Zoom in here. Sorry, I'm all fucking bums today. From 1980, sorry. Also has a uh, little catalog. And then there's the disc. This feels like it's flimsy here. No, it's fine, I think. Night Kill. Let's take a look at the special features. An interview with star Jacqueline Smith, audio commentary by film historians Howard S. Berger and Ash Nathaniel Thompson, and Charlie Gutterick. That's what I'm typically seeing usually for keynote special features. There's usually a trailer, a commentary, an interview. So it's funny going by these first two that I showed you that they're, they're just packed full of features, and that's not typical in my experience with Kino. I guess I'm not a fucking aficionado, though, but, like, it's usually not that extensive. But um, Anyway, let's get into the description here. Uh, a bored rich industrialist wife plots to kill her husband and have her lover assume the dead man's identity, apparently. Uh, the marriage between wealthy and cold-hearted tycoon Wendell Atwell, Mike Connors, and his adulterous wife, Catherine, has soured and there seems to be no way out except divorce, which Wendell has refused. Catherine and her lover, James Franciscus, uh, deviously had to plan to murder her millionaire husband. So wait, so he's, he's, the, 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 the lover's going to take his place, like, literally? Or are they just, like, she's, I don't know. Anyway, where was I? She hires a world-weary private eye, and Robert Meacham, to find her missing husband, but fails to inform the investigator that she knows full well the whereabouts of her husband. Difficulties arise when the investigator ends up being much better at his job than she originally expected, and he may or may not have some ulterior motives of his own. Hollywood veteran Ted Post directed this top-notch cat-and-mouse thriller filled with fear, intrigue, mystery, and panic. The story supporting the strong supporting cast includes Sybil Danning, Fritz Weaver, and Michael Anderson Jr. 97 minutes, and... Actually, are there no subtitles? That would piss me off. I like subtitles. Not from 1980. This one said there were, right? And this one did too. Yeah. So it must not. That's lame. Oh well. I still want to see it. Next one is Stone Cold Dead. This one was a, also a random one. I was just going through them and I remember reading. I, I thought about, I think I had this in my cart last year when I did this. What year was this release? Was it last year? I don't know. Um, and I just didn't pull the trigger because I had other shit going on. Um, or other movies I wanted to get, but um, I always wanted to get it. It stars Richard Crenna, Paul Williams, Linda Sorensen, and Belinda J. Montgomery. There's a woman dying in a shower there, it looks like. Um, Sergeant Detective Boyd has been assigned to a case with no ordinary circumstances. He, had, he is taunted by a sniper who selects only prostitutes as victims and baits police with photographs of the victims at the exact moment of their deaths, along with faint trail through the city's main streets everybody's a suspect from powerful dope dealer and pimp Julius Kurtz to the attractive Monica Page a spirited and classy hooker 
Boyd enlists the help of a streetwise policewoman, Sandy McClawley, who goes undercover as Boyd and McCauley slowly piece together the few elusive clues and await the sniper lurking in the dark corners of the city. Based on the best-selling novel, The Sin Sniper by Hugh Garner, Stone Cold Dead marks the stellar writing and directing debut of George Mendel Mendeluk. Albert, um, excuse me, Alberta Watson co-stars in this unforgettable thriller with a shocking twist ending. No way. Once again. I thought it sounded cool. But I don't know. I'm hit or miss on these sometimes. Same disc, the usual. And what's that? Picture of a rose on a tile or something? Kind of like, well, actually. Hmm, let's take a look at that. I like it. I like when they have alternate artwork. That's always a nice plus, even if I don't like it necessarily. What do you think about that? I like it actually. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Cool. And the last one is Absolution. And this one is one I actually I've had my on my, my wish list for a, a little while now and I just kept not biting the bullet, I guess. This one was the cheapest one, I think. This was six ninety nine. So it made it a lot easier to, to pick this time. Let me open it up first so we can get the wrapping off. from 1978, a brand new 2K HD restoration. Screenlines in Richard Burton, stars in the suspenseful thriller written by Anthony Schaefer, directed by Anthony Page, right? Yeah. A confession at a Catholic school turns to a real murder mystery. In confession, a student tells Father Goddard that he has accidentally murdered his friend and buried him in the forest. When Goddard investigates, wait, Confession at a school turns to a real murder mystery. In confession, a student tells Father Goddard he essentially murdered his friend and buried him in the forest. When Goddard investigates the matter, all he finds is a scarecrow. That feels like there should be a that should be period and there should be a capital letter. That's whatever. Anyway, Goddard is outraged, but due to the seal of confession, he cannot punish the kid and have him expelled. Shortly after, the boy once again enters the confession booth, telling Goddard that the previous confession was a practical joke, but this time he's really gone and done it. In disbelief. Goddard once again goes to the forest to investigate the matter, but this time he discovers the dead body of one of the students. The strong cast includes David Bradley and Billy Connolly. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Hollywood classics. And just a single disc with nothing in it. It would be cool if they did have artwork. It's kind of lame that it's just whatever, but no big deal. Okay, so that is everything I just got. Uh, smaller than last time. I think last time I had like 10 or 11 things. This time it's just these um, five. So yeah, the sale, I believe, goes on the entire month, or the rest of the month anyway. Um, so the next couple weeks still. I think it goes through the 30th or 31st, maybe into Labor Day. I'm not certain. Just check out their website, Kino Lorber Classics. Or Kino Lorber Studio Classics, I think. We'll just type in Kino Lorber. Or go to bedblueberry.com and check out the hot deal section. And you'll be able to find it. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to checking out... I'm going to check out Deep Rising first, actually. Because uh, that's the one I really wanted. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Um, bye.